Cool. Ready? Yep. Nice. Okay. So yeah, uh, I thought it'd be cool to chat about the subtle body and yeah, in general, just like, I guess maybe introduce the topic slightly and then explore some different aspects of it that feel, that feel important. Um, do you want to introduce it? Um, why don't we both, do you want to start and then maybe I'll like add to that? Sure. Yeah. Um, so I guess for me, there's one of the important things is that it's the first step on the map and yeah for me it's like really about the subtle body it's almost like a way of feeling the inside of your own experience so rather than having a map or an idea of your body being this more kind of like physical thing that we can see and touch it's like the internal experience of it which yeah often feels a bit energetic or um like metaphorical or it has like different kind of things going on inside it than than how a typical body looks and yeah the reason that it's first um is because well it, I, I feel like it's summarized really nicely in the Jung quote which is um who looks outside dreams who looks inside awakens and it's almost like until people can really be in their experience feel their own like body their own being their own life force they're always going to be just like dragged around and being outside versus kind of like really being in themselves and noticing what's happening in their own experience so um yeah that's kind of like I guess where I'm holding it and some of the important bits of it for me how about you yeah I love that I think I would add um it's been a really big part of my journey, which is why I'm, you know, kind of taking this bit on. And um, for me, it's really felt like coming into really deep relationship with my own body, which like feels not completely accurate to say, because like, obviously I am a body. So what does that mean to come into relationship with something that I am? But um, in the sense that maybe I'm more than a body or in the sense that like a lot of us kind of relate to ourselves as our minds or, you know, at some point do. Um, I think it is really common in our culture to be pretty disconnected from the body and to um, like actually honestly be pretty numbed out through the body. And so I think a lot of this part of the process is sort of like an unnumbing and coming into relationship and like inviting feeling back into the body is uh, a way that somebody from Twitter put it that I really like, um, which can be, can be like a slow, gentle process or like a, a not so, not so gentle process, because I think there tends to be a lot, a lot there if, um, you know, it's been kind of put off for a while or disconnected for a while. Um, yeah, what else would I add about that? I think as part of that deepening and coming into relationship, there's sort of like an inversion from your body being something like a possession of yours or something that you're using to get things done or to get what you want out of your life. You know, it's like, what can I get out of this body? Becomes more about um, listening and being with what's there and honoring that. So it's more of like a body-led um process yeah beautiful love it um yeah and then I I think there's something as well that it's almost like I guess part of the part of the course is kind of connecting to connecting really deeply inwards to yourself but also like connecting out to experience and um yeah was there anything you wanted to say about that kind of process of opening more I guess to like the external world with with this in mind yeah I think that um we've talked about this before it's like as your internal experience becomes more granular and you can sort of name the experiences more you know, more precisely, but also just feel a lot more. 
but that kind of extends externally as well. That's been my experience with it. Um, yeah, it's like turning it up to 4K or something and that, um, yeah, you can feel it in your relationships and dynamics and just in your life and patterns that are emerging and themes and things. It's like, um, yeah, just like the richness of it increases in a way that is not limited to your body. Yeah, beautiful. I feel like as you're talking, almost the thing that's being evoked is it often feels now if I'm walking around outside or something, especially in nature, I don't know if I can like hear the sea or see the sea. It's like feeling the sense of the sea moving through my body or something. Um, if there's, yeah, like, I don't know, there's actually some birds tweeting outside and it's like the sense of that kind of, that bringing a like, feeling tone into my experience and being able to like tune into that and notice the the kind of wave of it through and I guess um yeah that's kind of like the external world and then also in the inner world same with emotions they, they'll have like different tones and textures and bits of the body that they like hang out in um yeah it's really cool yeah my sense is that I don't know. I guess I've been in this process for about two years, but like, I feel like I keep going deeper and deeper with it. And that feels to me like it probably just is an infinite process, you know, like where you can get with your body. It's amazing what some people are able to be like, oh, I can feel that my liver is like, blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean? Like um, what you can just kind of keep deepening into that relationship forever, I think. And um yeah, my the thing that you were saying about like the ocean and the birds, my teacher, Corey, was always talking about becoming the room. So it's like deepening into your internal world sort of without limiting it to this. Um, and I feel that so much in relationship like it's when we talk, I can feel my own internal process really deepening. You know, it feels like there's a resonance that we have where um, that sort of like depth or like level of embodiment is mirrored in a way that like, like mine gets to deepen um and then it's it's really different with different people you know what is like what's mirrored and what is accentuated and um it's really interesting yes yeah it's amazing I feel like um yeah one of the things we've talked about and that you mentioned is like full body listening and there's a way that when I'm with you I can just feel the amount it's almost like our bodies can have little conversations back and forth which my mind is sort of like vaguely tuned into but it's like elevates music or something it's like <laughs> like they're just chit chatting away and kind of like resonating with each other um yeah and that's really cool it's like somehow the amount of uh yeah openness and, and presence that's been unlocked in them means that that's just sort of very free to flow yeah, I feel like the conversation takes on a different, um, a different, it's like the linearity of it changes or something, or just, it's not necessarily following like a rational progression or something. We're just like, you know what I mean? There's something about the way that our conversations tend to go. I think where it's just, it tends to be a lot of like pauses and things. It tends to be kind of like slow. I think that's part of the full body listening is like, you know, like, whoops, we're just like processing a lot as we're kind of as we're going, which slows it down a little bit. Um, and then uh, what was I going to say? This is a good example of the pause. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of just noticing like, oh, like now this energy is present. And now what's what's that about? And then we're there. And it was just like this jump that um yeah, I don't feel like a lot of my regular conversations kind of have that same uh, expansive flow or something to them. Yeah, so nice. Um, yeah, the image I get is almost, it's almost like things bubbling up and yeah, almost like one of us kind of getting the sense of like, oh, this thing is coming up and it feels important and just sort of sharing and putting it in the middle and then like letting that energy sort of seep in and I, I think what's nice as well what I really like is that you can relate to this we've done it in different ways 
so we've used we've we sometimes get together and just like note and, and kind of like note the energies that are coming up and that has a certain that has like a really nice sort of tone of it's almost like the nice the uh yeah just like openness and acceptance so it's kind of like connecting with the energy and the content but not um getting sucked into it and then like other times it's been like this thing is really important the the like the content that this energy is holding is really important and actually I really just need to like be immersed in it and really kind of like take it seriously and um mm. yeah I feel like we bro- go into both those modes and kind of everything in between but it's yeah I think that sometimes when people start talking about energy there can be a trap to either just go oh it's all just energy flowing through or to go like energy is all really meaningful you have to like process everything and yeah the truth is that the, you can relate to it in both ways mm, yeah yeah that's a really nice distinction there is a way with you that I think there is like such a high level of trust and safety established that I think really factors in here it's like as these things are coming up we can relate to them in ways that aren't like ultra personal I mean like you're saying some of them do feel really important and maybe personal but there's a way that like I just know that I can bring up anything with you that like if I'm feeling this energy that I can bring it up which is isn't how I feel most of the time with most people so it's either like I mean I think something that's happening a lot when people are interacting is like people feel something that they feel like they shouldn't feel and then that ends up getting a little blocked or something or even if they're like okay I feel this way but it maybe isn't appropriate to bring up here it's still kind of like sitting there you know what I mean so I think there's something where like the way that we're either like noting and letting go of something or like oh let's really go into this there's like um, a way that everything is feeling very cleared out almost like an emptiness to the container that is really conducive to it yeah yeah that's super nice um yeah and it really makes it as you were describing that as well I was like that brought in the awareness of where it sits on the map and the kind of next two boxes depending which way you're going so if you're doing the kind of yin path which is more about cultivating practice through life the next box is shadow work and I think it's like immediately the thing that happens is you get in touch with some like subtle body stuff and it like feels quite nice and then you go out into the world and you're like holy shit there's so much stuff in me in other people (laughs) oh my god that's so true (laughs) that's so true oh this is why I was numb to this before (laughs) right right it's like the stage of just like absolute overwhelm and like horror um so yeah, kind of like having a plan or a container or something <laughs> to be able to do some shadow work. Um, yeah, it is is important, I think, if you're if you're like start if you're interested in this part. Um, and then the other the other direction, which is more the kind of yang path, the like practice path. So if you're on a tree or doing quiet sits, the next one is into into being. And there's a way that within, I think um and yeah interbeing interbeing yeah okay um and so it's almost like the way in which yeah it's kind of like how we're part of our environment the environment is part of us how our relationships are part of us we're part of our relationships like we're not um you know kind of <clears throat> mine and yours energy isn't separate we're sort of it's a conversation that's happening and I'm just like picking up on the bits that are inside me and some of the bits are shared and some of the bits are in you. And um, yeah, I think in, in into being, there's a way that if you, it's like certain containers can create a, a kind of upward spiral of that are conducive to like practice deepening. I guess everything we were just talking about, it's like if you get the container right, it can really um, support support practice and like open states up and um yeah I guess this is a lot of what like transmissions are about from spiritual teachers and gurus and and things like that um 
and yeah it feels like a it feels like a it's like a difficult thing to do well um which part the kind of like the upward spiral of like ah this is an energy that is like I guess there's a way that it, it, there's a there's a value in me around kind of like truth and presence and and an openness so not just like an upward spiral of creating a spiritual high that's just going to disappear as soon as you leave right. it has a, a sense of realness to it but also yeah there's enough like goodness capacity like wellness in the system that it still feels good and worthwhile I think that's like a a balancing force that yeah people I think people are always are often subtly trying to create that on retreat uh even if they're aware of it or not but create the spiritual high um well I guess some people are just trying to create the spiritual high and then other people more grounded people are maybe trying to create a container that's like an energetic I'd like well-held energetic container that can hold realness and people still feel good in nice nice yeah it might be interesting you mentioned transmissions it might be interesting to just like briefly talk about what that means in turn in this like subtle body frame because I think that's something that people talk about a lot and don't like necessarily define. And I think it's like a super interesting phenomenon that I think like a couple of years ago before I started this, I would have been like, what are you talking about? You know, like, and now it feels very clear to me in like an intuitive way, but I don't know that I've tried to put it into words. Yeah. Would you like to say, or should I go, or should we both, should we each share a bit? How would you like to Yeah, maybe I'll start. I think, um, It's something about the way that we're communicating with each other all the time, not just through words. And we're sort of trying to point at the fuller meaning through words. And sometimes the words actually don't really match like what is being communicated at all. And I think that even people who who, like wouldn't relate to the word transmission or don't necessarily think they're doing this. I think people like are doing this maybe more than they realize all the time. It's like, I don't like that person. I don't know why, but like (laughs) something's off that, you know what I mean? Those kinds of like intuitions that we get or just um, interesting subconscious dynamics happening in groups all the time. Um, But yeah, it's sort of like the fullness of the communication that's taking place, which might include the words, but is much larger than that. It's like, what's happening subtly between our bodies and even, you know, with our environments and the rooms and um, just various energies that are around. And I think that um, people talk about it with like spiritual teachers a lot or any teachers, you know, it's like um, being around them, you just pick things up or you just feel what they're sharing on a really deep level. And I think it's um, when that's happening, it's because they're not faking it. They're like really integrated behind what they're saying. And there's a lot of like wisdom and depth and experience in them that that's coming from. And people at some level or another can feel that and our bodies feel it. And um, sometimes I have the experience where somebody's talking to me and I can feel things happening in my body, like connections being made that like, I don't, (laughs) I don't know what they are, you know? And so they're like, does that make sense? And I'm like, oh, my body thinks so. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to actually remember the words of this, but it seems like connections are being made. So, yeah. Um, well, and also, I think, you know, sometimes the words are also landing very deeply for us. And so it's just a really nice, um, like, full-bodied transmission or message that's landing for us. What would you What would you add to that? Yeah, I think the way you described it is, yeah, really resonates, really, really makes, really fits with how I feel about it. And um, yeah, I think there's something about being able to feel, I guess, the people who have embodied the the thing that they're saying. And like very, I think very early on in my path, getting some really intense transmission just from listening to people talking like recordings of people talking just getting absolutely like blown open energetically by (laughs) by a few different people um 
I think I'm very I'm very porous in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> had you already oh, like done really. much had you done much um meditation or like spiritual practice at that point or was it were you just like that I'd done a lot of I was very I'm just very <clears throat> energetically explosive and porous um that that had sort of been my kind of experience I'd avoided meditation for that reason because I, it didn't make sense to me and then yeah I did some very very deep like shadow work and energetic stuff and was really deepening in a lot of um like wasn't doing a lot of sitting early on in my path but um yeah then it's basically as soon as I started sitting and listening to a few bits it was like immediately just getting um yeah completely blown up to pieces by the things that I was encountering (laughs) yeah it's super interesting um that makes me think of like resonance and the ways that like I'm thinking of something that you wrote in particular like the ways that this can change for us over time the way that things land for us I mean I think that's probably really uh you know a really common thing like you read a book uh you know when you're like 20 and then you read it again when you're 30 and it lands totally differently um and I remember reading something of yours like when I first came across your stuff and I was kind of just getting started on this path and I remember being like "Eh, I don't know (laughs) it's like we've talked about this it was something about um like gender dynamics and sexism and stuff and then I read that piece again like a year and a half later and it like kind of had the effect on me that you're talking about that it just like blew me open and brought up a ton of stuff that needed to be processed and I felt so much like deep truth in it and I got in touch with a lot of my own pain around it that so it's really interesting to think that when I first read that I mean maybe that was happening on some level within me you know that it was but those places were um I was more disconnected from those places or something um and I think that go ahead no go on yeah um yeah the I bring up the resonance as a way of like just wanting to mention that I think one of the real beauties of deepening into this experience is getting to know yourself better um just really getting in touch with your own sense of resonance and um your own intuitions sort of like teasing out intuitions from you know other stuff trauma responses, other people's ideals and values that have been internalized, all of that kind of thing. Um, Yeah, like really getting to know your tapping into your bodily wisdom, which I think there's like way more of than our culture tends to give credit to. Um, Yeah, I was mentioning this to you before. There was a way for me that like it felt like my decision making used to like come from up here so much and maybe that was like a delusion maybe I was actually still you know deciding with my body and then rationalizing it later but it was just a much more stressful process for me of like making pros and cons lists and like um yeah just kind of like stressing so much over what I was going to do in different situations and always feeling like it was um yeah just not being able to really feel into my own personal yeses and nos or it would be a much lengthier process to do that um so that's yeah I think that's been one of the biggest like fruits of of this specific path for me is feeling just much more naturally and immediately in touch with myself yeah nice yeah that's super nice um I think as well the gift there's something in there's something in the the way of approaching this that feels important that I was just sort of feeling where I was like, ah, I feel like a lot of the fruits of your labor as well are actually the the gift that you're able to give other people of your presence. Mm. Um, and there's something in the kind of that orientation that feels like part of the deepening where it's almost like the th- often the things that you're opening to and feeling are quite difficult, I think, in this, in the subtle body realm. And if you're like fighting that, then yeah, I think that th- like the example you gave, the thing 
if there's something in you that isn't ready to really open to the thing, I think that parts of us stay shut down and there's nothing, there's, it's not to say that that's like wrong. There's wisdom in, in that kind of like timing and process and things. Um, but yeah, there's some <clears throat> something about the, that giving of yourself to the process that then mm. creates like a presence that is available yeah it's also for yourself it's not entirely like um altruistic but it's just it's like a very generous open thing which I I feel like yeah it's so rich and full in the way that you do body work and also just like afterwards when when we've spent time together there's a sense of like ah having been like nourished and safe and kind of like all the I don't know all the nice things yeah yeah nice I really feel that with you too um do you feel like that's more true with the subtle body aspect of of the model than the other pieces in terms of like what you're able to sort of naturally share with others it's a great question it's almost like the subtle body it's almost like um I think what you were saying there about like the depth of it the subtle body being kind of one of the the deepest parts of us it's almost just like the yeah it doesn't really have a final form but it's it's almost like the collection of things that is our resonance or something and nice. so there's a way that um yeah the thing that we're like transmitting or holding or being or doing is kind of like just yeah resonating from from that place nice and it's like I think when I ah yeah 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 yeah. there's something about the mind can do the mind can do a lot of tricks and the heart can kind of like compensate for things like you can be you can like be extra heartful to be like more more giving or like the mind you can kind of like think things through and like think of clever ways and like think about what's the right thing to do and sort of like there's all these sorts of clever things that can happen in our, in our beings but there's a way that on a subtle body level it just sort of it can't lie it just sort of is mm. the thing that it is and obviously to get in touch with it we're then putting it through filters to understand it so it's not like oh the thing I feel is the is the truth or something but there's like a way that on some level the thing that we're transmitting emulating resonating is is just it is what it is in in this realm yeah yeah it's why people I really noticed this with like body workers and healers but I think it just applies much more generally like there's people who I'll just start crying around so much more easily it's like whatever part of me that that like crying is coming from just senses something in the other person whether it's like their openness or like that they've been there and process that you know what I mean I don't know what that transaction is like but I just feel it so strongly even even with new people you know it's like I could go to one body worker and have like a little bit of stuff come up whereas I could go to another person and immediately just like so much is there to be processed yes nice that feels really rich and cool. good anything else you want to add um there's almost a part of me that wants to like temper expectations or something like I mean we've talked about a lot of the beauty of it and I think it is a really beautiful process so there's something also about like how that necessarily has to like extend in all directions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a common expression about, you know, can't have the good without the bad or like there's one about, you know, without the darkness, there's no light or something. It's something about like the depths of pain that really have to be contacted and like 
all of the varieties of pain, you know, just like that 4K granularity definitely applies to pain and discomfort as well. Um, so yeah, just to like, um, yeah, just to even out the like tone of it a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. It's almost like, um, yeah, I feel that it's almost like, I think there's something in sharing with people and saying like I've lit because to me this is one of the it's just one of the loveliest bits of experience like when just the when you're in like pleasant energy and you're just vibing like either by yourself or with other people it's like it's just everything feels nice and smooth and it's like life can be very just like mm, let's just feel nice um so it's like yeah it's worth doing that but it's almost like the way that you get there is basically the more the more hard stuff you go through the more you're kind of like freeing up energy and processing and yeah and that gets incredibly incredibly intense and really really hard um yeah yeah anything else you want to add no I think that's great cool Nice.